Okay, guys. Welcome to Uncharted 3. All men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night, in the dusty recesses of their minds, wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men. For they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. This I did. Hands up. Enjoying yourself, pal? Oh, yeah, you're a comedian. Nice warm welcome. They're both clean. My apologies. One can't be too careful. I'm guessing you're Talbot? Mr. Sullivan. And Mr. Drake. That's right. Do you have it? Let's, uh... See the money first. Cut out. It's all there. Now let's see it. I'll need to authenticate it. Of course. Silver. 16th century, Elizabethan design, inscribed with Sir Francis Drake's motto. Well, it appears to be genuine. Well, of course it's genuine. If I may ask, how did you two come into this? Does it matter? <laughs> My client will be very pleased. Hold on a minute. Sully, this is fake. I assure you, Mr. Drake. Oh, oh, you are right. This is phony as a three-dollar bill. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Perhaps I should be asking you. This is bullshit. Deal's off, pal. And you? You can tell your client. You blew it. Come on, Nate, let's get the hell out of here. You're not really in a position to negotiate. Now give me the ring, take the case, and walk out of here like gentlemen. While you still can. Do as the man says, son. You're a thief. Well, now, that's ironic. Come on. Oh, you got this one's mine! Time to rest. Get out of here. 
Ace. Hey there, big fella. I got him. Quick, hit him. Not bad idea, Grandpa. Good old bar fight. Get him! Hey, you spill more drink! Throw nearby him. Come on, now, let's fight you. Where we are? Second there, mate. I'll be right with you. You might. Let's put subtitles on. Don't. Stay down. Hello, Victor. Kate? Still wallowing in the gutter with your protege, I see. Not very dignified for a man of your age. Should have known you'd be behind this. Oh, careful now. Wouldn't want you to melt. <laughs> Same cocky little shit. So fearless. I wonder what you're really afraid of. Not bullets or blood or broken bones. No. You get off on all this, don't you? Cheating death? Or not? No. <laughs> Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm your precious boy. I merely want what's mine. 
Give me that back. Oh, oh my god. Oh no. Oh. Shut, Shut up. up. You fool. Oh, you're bloody welcome, Your Majesty. Marlow, we have to get you out of here. Oh, oh my god. Come on, they're a right pair of arseholes. What? Assuming this is the backstory. Oh, twenty years earlier. Upstairs, huh? <sighs> hey, it's an Italian. I'm kidding. It's just just a month. It's gotta be in one of these cases. El museo cierra en quince minutos. No, that's not it either. I'm just kidding. A swimsuit. Diamond suits, I mean, that's pretty sick.
fora, Cindá. Don't mind if I do. Huh. It was rotten anyway. Ah, now where did he go? Where is he going? Yeah, totally. Let's just follow him into the meat locker. What's he doing in there? I need to get a better look. Yeah, I don't want to rush your pal, but can you move yeah. along? Yeah, I got you back. Just that I got a lady with you. You know, that's... Amigo. Okay, I gotta get that wallet. Crap, I can't go down that way. that building. I bet I can spot him from the roof. I don't want to jump. Oh, who's your friend? How long has Nathan been working with Sully? Damn it. Don't want to go down there. I gotta find a way to get that wall. Okay, let's 
right there in his pocket. Now's my chance. Let's try that again. Let go of me. Ah, that's what I thought. Now don't try to run. You're a long way from home, son. Don't call me that. Parents must be worried about you. <laughs> yeah, not likely. Okay, so subject. That was a nice lift back there. You're pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about, old man. Hey, don't call me that. Your technique is really sloppy, though. You're telegraphing all your moves. You're crazy. Yeah? You've been tailing me all over town. Probably figured me for an easy mark. But you picked the wrong guy, pal. Uh, uh. What? My wallet. Fine. Maybe we'll just call the police. Go ahead. Of course, they might wonder why a middle-aged Taurus is following young boys down alleyways. <laughs> you are a crafty little beggar, aren't you? I know how to take care of myself. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you don't like the cops any more than I do. Good point. Kid. The wallet. Had to try. Of course you did. Telegraphing all my moves, huh? Who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. Come on, son. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it over. Now, the ring. What ring? <laughs> Catherine! Who do you think you are, boy? You're nothing but a filthy, cast off little beggar. You're not fit to touch these objects. 
the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. Stop him! Stop the boy! Holy crap! He has the ring! Break the door down! Oh god. He's heading for the roof! Chains! Break it! Hurry! Let go! Ugh. Shit! Oh, crap! Who the hell are these guys? Right. Come over here. There he is! Oh, crap! Who the hell are these guys? Where am I supposed to go? Okay, kid. You can relax, kid. We're safe here. Go on. Suit yourself. You don't want it. What do you want from me? Hmm. 
A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? You gotta have an angle. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Look, mister. No offense, but I don't even know you. Easily remedied. Victor Sullivan. This would be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on, kid. If I was gonna take it from you, I would have done it by now. Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis Mem Sick Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. He sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age no Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Ah, uh, so like a boarding school. That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for him. Look, kid. A client wants something, I obtain it. For a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. Look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, well... Anyway. I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Okay, look. First of all, that was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month. Tops. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen big. Like millions in plundered treasure that hasn't ever been recovered big. That big? That big. And that decoder has something to do with it. I would bet my life on it. Oh, swell. And Marlowe's got it. Won't do her much good without the key. So it's a stalemate, then? For now. <laughs> so you still haven't told me what your name is? And you still haven't told me what you want from me. Okay. Look, you got talent, but you got a lot to learn. You stick with me, and I'll teach you a few things. Thanks. But I'm doing just fine on my own. Yeah. Clearly. What do you say we, uh, try this again? My friends call me Sully. Nathan Drake. Nate. Drake, huh? <laughs> okay. see great things in our future, kid. Great things. Mm. Oh. Um, there you go. All right, lads? you were going to put a silencer on that thing. Sally, you've got no sense of drama. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. All that racket's going to bring the cops any minute. Get the 
hell out of here. <sighs> Could have pulled a couple of those punches, Charlie. What do you mean? I hardly touched you. You headbutted me. All right, all right. I got a little swept up in the moment. Uh, you were the one who said make it look realistic. Better stay on his good side. All right, Brad Ice, look sharp. They're coming your way. Don't lose them. <sighs> Told you they'd take the bait. How long do you reckon before they realize this is a fake? Who cares? Finally flushed them out. Now we just follow them back to their hole. You do realize you make everything sound dirty. I do? Let's get moving. Well, hurry it up, mate. Shit. The filth. This way. What? Come on. Really? Come on, Charlie. What's the holdup? Yeah, yeah. It'll all be over soon. It'll all be over soon. It'll all be over soon. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, oh that wasn't too bad. What the hell is wrong with you? Nothing. I'm fine. That's blocked. Wait, we can get around this way. Yeah, yeah, why? Or we could just use a little muscle. <laughs> oh, there's a thought. Wall's too high. I got it. Put your back into it, mate. We haven't got all bloody night. Yeah. Thanks for the help. Come on, move your lazy asses. All right. Looks like the coast is clear. You should be more careful with your head, you know it. <laughs> Evening, lads. All right, darling. Looks like hell spit you two back out. Ah, uh, it was a thing of beauty, Chloe. I went off without a hitch. You're unusually quiet. What's up your bum? Oh, well, Charlie seemed to enjoy himself a little bit too much for there my we taste. Go. <laughs> my ears are still ringing. Oh, for God's sake. Helps if you have something in between. <laughs> oh, it looks like I missed out on some fun. Yeah, you did, actually. It was very, very uh, cathartic. Yeah, that's funny. Do you have any trouble? Nah, <sighs> easy peasy. And you're sure they didn't see you trailing them? Not a chance. So, which door's scary Poppins hiding behind? Behind that one there, the green one. They drove in ages ago, and it's been dark ever since. You think they're still in there? Well, I haven't taken my eyes off it. And no one's gone in or out. Hmm. Think these are really necessary? I mean, it's not like they're expecting us. Don't underestimate these blokes. They're not messing about. Hey, we're just gonna sneak in, and we sneak out. Just like that. Yeah, fair enough. But any trouble, you shoot first and ask questions later, all right? Man, I was sorely tempted to just pick up that briefcase back there and walk. Yeah, you got a lousy poker face, man. Hey, trust me, that's nothing compared to what we're on to. Yeah, well, at my age, it's a bird in the hand. Ew. Didn't I tell you? Oh, please. Look, I just hope you're right about this. Seems pretty quiet. You think they're still in there? Well, we're not gonna just barge in the front door and find out. No, we can't afford to waste time standing here. I'll find a way in and check it out. You three stay here. You all right up there? Yeah. Sorry about that.
seriously? Empty? Wait a minute, where did it go? Yeah. see a car? Because I don't see a car. I don't understand. <laughs> Damn it. <clears throat> I'm sure this is the right one. Yes, the green door, I'm sure. Nate, we are losing time here. That damn briefcase is looking better and better. All right, come on. They didn't just vanish into thin air, right? There's got to be an explanation. S spread out. Look around. You were here, all right. I can still smell the exhaust. Tire tracks. Tire tracks. Still wet from the rain. Looks like the car turned here. Hey, check this out. points of contact. Sully, stand right there. You too. Like there and there. All right, everybody, on three. Ready? One, two, three. And? Well, this has got to be it. Wait. Wait, it's the light. Sully, a aim your beam at the wall. Like headlights. Well, I have a goddamn cadaver. Um. Nate, just who are we dealing with here? Well, there's only one way to find out. We'll track the car. You head back to the van. We'll try and stay in radio contact. I'll let you know when we get through to the other side, all right? <laughs> Wherever the hell that is. Just be ready for anything. Might be a quick exit. No doubt. She's the best driver in the business, you know. So I've heard. Well, I think we agree this is more than a little weird. Who the hell drives their car underground? Oh, well, let me think. Someone who doesn't want to be followed, you know, it's just a guess. Smart ass. Looks like they bored straight into the old service tunnel. Over here. It's not. It's not anymore. Come on. We should be able to squeeze through here. I think. Lead on, McDuff. Oh, what? Lay on. It's lay on, McDuff. <sighs> Can we hurry it along, please, mate? All right, back there? Yeah, yeah, you know, just. Spaces, that's all. all right, just keep moving. Oh, thank God for that. Who the hell is McDuff? Is there no bottom to your ignorance? The hair! I can't aim right now. 
Let's keep the silencer. Okay. Tunnel's right below us. At least we're still on the right path. Oh. That is a long way down. Careful, it's slippery. Great aim. Hey, there's a passage up there. And a ladder. Look out, here it comes. It's like there's some sort of gate up there. You cut her a little help here. Sure, I've got you. All right, ready? Pull. Got it. Okay, Charlie, come on. the tunnel again. That's too far to drop though. We'll break our damn necks. Crap, it's a dead end. Down here. Charlie, who the hell are we dealing with here? I don't know, mate. Whoever they are, they are seriously weird. Look at the ironwork. Why, well, it's got to be Victorian, maybe older. This stuff's been rusting for a century. Maybe we can get through here. Oh, no way we're moving now. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh. The way. It's a counterweight up there. Looks like it's stuck. One of us should climb up there and see if they can dislodge it. Good idea. Guess so. <laughs> oh, crap. there. This place. Oh, shit. What the hell is this place? Oh, shit, get down. Good 
guy. Thanks for having our back. Hey, there's Marlo's car. All right. From here on, no more guns. Where's the car? Oh, it's right there. Hands up. Oh, uh, we must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah, is this King's Cross? Don't move. is this? I've never seen anything like it. Some sort of train station or something. Yeah, yeah, but it's got to be almost 200 years old. Jesus, just when you think things can't get any weirder. Giant hole in this. Shh, get back. Take them out quietly. Nicely done, boys. Come on. They must have gone through here. It gets weirder. Oh, this stonework. Looks like Tudor. 16th century. This way. Quietly, Nate. Hey, over here. No, 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 seriously. Who are these people? I'm not interested in your excuses. He was a loose cannon, and you should have known. Yes, it is regrettable, but... Not regrettable. Sloppy. Your poor judgment could have cost us everything. Four hundred years of searching. Finally. Drake's secret will be revealed. What is this? I don't understand. It's a forgery. What? That's not possible. I verified it myself. This isn't the ring. Really? I held it in my hands. I saw him put it around his neck. This doesn't make sense. We've been duped. Cutter. Uh-huh. You men stand guard and stay alert. We may have been followed. You, come with us. Find them and bring me that ring. I don't care how you get it.
This is quite the operation they got going here. Focus. We haven't got much time here. Yeah. Yeah. What are you... My God, do you know what this is? It's a book, mate. There's a lot of them in here. It's a library. Yeah, it's not just any book, wise ass. It belonged to T.E. Lawrence. You know, Lawrence of Arabia. Yes, 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 I know. This was mailed from Dorset on the day of his motorcycle accident. May 13th, 1935. They must have killed him once they got their hands on it. They? Yeah, they, they, them, whoever these people are. Oh, what a lot of rubbish. It was an accident. Witnesses saw a black car run him off the road. Guys. Oh, 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 so it was like a big cover-up. Maybe. Nate. What? That thing that you have been waiting 20 years for? Sister was a right asshole. Just shut up. It's an anagram. Golden Hind. The Golden Hind. Drake ship. Yes. It's a clue. It's got to be something hidden in this room. All right, spread out. See what you can find. What the hell are we looking for, anyway? The Golden Hind. Could it be a model? Maybe a painting? What makes you think it's even here? It's gotta be here. Well, could be a Buckland Abbey for all we know. Buckland Abbey is a place he would have been in and move on. Well, there's a chair there made from the wood of his ship. Maybe it's hidden in there. Yeah, I suppose it could be, but... No. No, it's gotta be here. This is amazing. Things in here must be worth a fortune. Nate, we can't be screwing around like this. They'll be back any minute. Yeah, come on, mate. Hurry up. Oh, shit. It's a trap. 
They're here. Take cover. No. <laughs> Arabia. <laughs> Mate, we could use a little help here. Come on, Nate, let's go. What the hell are you doing? Grab the journal in the cipher disk. Got it. Go! We're running out of ammo. Grab their weapons. <laughs> Where's the car? Because that would be very useful. Shit, they're everywhere. Come on! We gotta keep moving! Man, I can't aim right now. <clears throat> There's a ladder. Come on, hurry up! Where the hell are we? It's the North Atwood Station. Come on! Can you read me? We're coming out the old north now at the station. There's no time to explain. <laughs> Thank you. 
says, well, you better tickle mine, too, because now i got to catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. To a job? Well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John D.'s signature. Who the hell's John D? John D, one of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah, he was a great mathematician and navigator. Okay, way ahead of his time, he's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see, look, 007. Not really that relevant. So it was John D who sent Drake to Arabia? Yeah, it looks that way. D and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. Great, but what for? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia... Great film. He was an archaeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history. Everything to do with knights and the Crusades. And he traveled all over, documenting every Crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you've lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Oh, city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance, swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubokali Desert. Right here. I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlowe is after. So, wait. If Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubalkali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian script. Sabian script. Right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, and then what? How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? Well, it's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Oh. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> the rest of the way on foot. <laughs> what? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Not too far. Come on. Yeah. Not too
not too far. <laughs> With okay, you, guys. I never know if that means a quarter mile I'm or twenty. End the time you got us lost there. in Peru. See you guys oh, next time. You really want to bring up Peru?